The contract signing ceremony was hosted by the First Lady and Minister of Education and Sports, Janet Museveni, who first received the 34.9 acres land title from the Minister for Lands, Judith Nabakova. Today marks the culmination of the tireless efforts of different people, both from government and from the private sector, who have gone beyond the call of duty to ensure that we commence the process of developing sports infrastructure in preparing for the Africa Cup of Nations 2027. It was signed by Dr. Bernard Patrick Oguel on behalf of the Government and National Council of Sports and Selim Bora on behalf of the Suma Construction Company. I now appeal to the contractor, the Suma president who happens to be present here with us, to ensure that we have a 20,000 seater marriage purpose stadium of international standards ready for inspection by the Confederation of Africa Football by 31st December 2025. I can see that you are agreeing with me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Do not let Ugandans down because hosting Africa Cup of Nations is a golden opportunity whose benefits go beyond football to our, uh, the country. MS Suma has been tasked to undertake construction works of the 20,000 seater stadium within 18 months and must be ready when Confederation of African Football comes for inspection of AFCON facilities by 31st December 2025. Following the wise counsel of the president, we embarked on securing a contractor to undertake uh, works for the construction of the stadium in Hoima City. We are here today to witness the signing of contract with uh, the Suma company uh, so that it can undertake the works for the construction of the Hoima Stadium within the 18 months. The contractors were identified after a thorough check that was deemed fit following work they have undertaken for the Kigali Arena and the Amahoro Stadium in Rwanda and several works in Senegal. Indeed, during the procurement process, the technical team led by the Minister of Works and Transport undertook a benchmarking exercise to assess the suitability of the company and I'm glad to inform you that their report to me was positive. This Hoima City Stadium land is credited to the generosity of the late James Rujumba who donated 10 acres of land onto which Federation of Uganda Football Association and Government added. The Government of Uganda is taking deliberate action to invest in sports infrastructure to not only develop and professionalize our abundant talent in different disciplines but to generate revenue for government that these facilities are capable of doing uh, if, we, we, if, we, if it's well managed, if they're well managed. The State Minister for Sports, Peter Ogwang, pointed out the need for Uganda to develop holistic plans to tap into sports tourism to generate revenue for the country. We have a different roles to play, but let us work together as a team on this assignment and execute it with the satisfaction of Ugandan. This is the people's project that we must deliver by 31st December 2025.